Hello everyone, it's Armstrong here from Madai Miniatures and today I want to convert this little car into something Gasland related. So during the last couple of days I was bored so I built this ram. Well, it's not a ram, it's a tombstone. And this ram, they are very simple, just, you know, a little bit of plastic card glued together and that's it. And as well, I was looking at my Necron pieces and I found this in here, Lance. I don't know exactly what the name of the Necron piece is exactly, but I think that I can work it as a cannon. So yeah, <clears throat> let's just start with this little guy and start gluing stuff to it. So I don't want to open it, although I have it already, I removed already the rivets, but I found that, you know, it looks good as it is. So what I want to do is just attach the uh, ram in here, I was thinking about some sort of support, but just looking at it, I know that it's gonna fit perfectly just over the lights here. So just one little detail, just grab the file and just get rid, of, get rid of those little knobs. Now when it is sanded I can just put a little dab of super glue on both sides. And attach the plow in front of it. And it already looks bulkier. And now I have an issue dilemma. I don't know to put this tombstone this way or how I planned to put it this way. And to be honest, when I look at it like that, in my opinion, it looks better. So I'm just gonna attach it this way. Maybe just rough it up a little bit. Yeah. Since this one is a plastic body, it takes a, to super glue very well. So now we have this. And I have, well, somewhat of an armadillo look on the back of it. And now to the cannon. And with this weapon, I really don't know how to go about it because I looked at it a couple of times and just cannot really decide how to convert it. But I think getting rid of this and like this, come on. Then cutting it here. This out. And I put my blade. Okay, so I have my exacto knife. I can just clean this out. Then shorten this a little bit. Now, just looking at other pieces, I can probably. Mm, Completely get rid of this and remove the grip with the hand as well. So after this surgery I have a couple of pieces left and I'm not a hundred percent sure that I'm gonna use them or not. I'm thinking about attaching this just up here. Maybe just using this like that. Or I think it is gonna work. So yeah, just getting my super glue. I think that plastic glue would probably work a little bit better, but 
I'm not going for a perfection, I'm going for speed this time around. And yeah, this wasn't a very nice cut. <laughs> okay, this holds. <sighs> and just a dab of super glue in here to attach it to the roof. Sorry, and now this is how it looks like. I don't know about the color scheme just yet, but I'm thinking I should have somewhere a metal mesh. Mm. Or maybe a grating? Yes, I have some. So this diamond plating, I think about using this to cover the side windows and maybe a little bit of doors. So just grabbing a ruler. I think that this piece is gonna be big enough for adding details to the vehicle. Because I have the back window covered by the mm, tombstone. So if I just cover the side windows with this, then I can use the metal grading if I find it to cover the mm, front window and to have it looking more tanky altogether. corner and it's gonna look much better so just in here attach this and sorry about if I'm going out of a camera view I just have this set up for the first time and I'm not really seeing much in the viewfinder of the camera but I find that I have much more space for my hands to work with So, you know, it's the trade-off for me. So, yeah. And that's both sides armor plated. I'll be right back when I find the grading. This is the stuff that you get for the, mm, I think they are called anti-splash covers for your pots. So yeah, I just bought one of those and cut it out and I've been using this for last God knows how long. I would say more than five years and I still didn't get through half of it because I'm just using this on usually a Gaslands cars or when I just need some sort of small grading inside of a shoulder pad of Space Marines or something like that. So yeah. So this is perfectly easy cuttable by scissors. It's just small enough so it works for gas lamps scale. So now just have to find how big I want it. And without much hassle, just super glue it on top of the original window. This prevents us from seeing inside of the car and sort out the issue of building and painting a actual crew. I have a couple of cars that I didn't show in my um, garage. I well, show because I couldn't uh, find them. I have them in a box with other cars which aren't converted yet or fully converted, which actually have a crew in it. Oh, come on, super glue. Be nice to me today. Just 
do not want to work. It's almost glued, I have to I figure just glue it on this side. But yeah, this is a finished conversion. I'll be back once I have him black bumped. So now if it is black bumped and well almost dry. I couldn't wait for it to dry fully. I want to just use a couple of small colors to to finish it off. So first, a Codex Gray by Games Workshop. I wanted a gray, but not too white gray. Something that's gonna be dark enough just go with a simple dry brush to highlight the edges on the on well entire vehicle and to dry brush I think that everyone knows how to do it just take some paint on your brush then empty it almost dry and just go over the edges the remaining paint in your brush gonna just start come on, catching on them and then you can see it's getting brighter so I will just do that all over so now just repeat the previous step but this time with a bolt gun metal and especially on the metal gradings you can actually go much uh, heavier just to show that they are metal plates and the tombstone would be the same in this case maybe even the ram yeah, so bulgan metal is your secondary color in that case so yeah it can be quite heavy. The previous dry brush was just to catch some edges and to make give some variety to the this particular color. And this car actually really uh, works very well for this conversion. It has so many interesting details in itself that adding those rams and everything just makes it pops pop a little bit in my opinion and yeah now I will need to switch to a different brush Finer. Oh, I forgot to mix that one. To a finer brush, just for a. I want to add some green to the gun, because well, I kind of find Necron guns always have this green glow, and I kind of like it, so I just add the little goblin green and I know that this doesn't represent Necron but I still like it on this kind of device and whenever you miss with your paint you can just remove it with the tip of your finger usually it works very well <laughs> Yeah, 
and that's how it turns out thus far. So now just grab your preferred rust colors. I'm just wondering which ones I gonna get. What do we have? So Vestig or Flesh, that's fine, that's orangey and something in dark red. No. Mm. Ah, just take a regular. So yeah, my choice would be a Scarlet Red and Bestigor Flesh. And again, I'm not going for finesse in here. It's supposed to be just nice and dirty, so two colors, come on. Oh, the bottle is stuck. Ah. No właśnie nie wiem co jest z tym twoim telefonem. So now that I finally managed to get the red out of the tube, I just grab the same brush that I was using previously for dry brushing and just get this mix on. And when I do this I like to just go along the edges thinking where like you know where the rust could be collecting and definitely on the ram so definitely the edges of the car and this car actually works very well for that because well he was it was already red so even if you get chipping afterwards, you still may, you know, just hide it as some sort of a rust. Oh my goodness, that just turned out too red. So let's add some orange on top of that. Oh my good. Those two colors work well together, but in some cases they just create pinks. And my cat just wants to say hello to everyone. And maybe just bits on the ram. And here. And yes. And that's pretty much it. There's no massive magic to doing that. You can add the decals on it. I have plenty of those. You can scribble something, you can throw it as a, what do you call her, the prison car, you know, just adding some prison number or something like that. But in my case, it's just a free rider, so yeah, it's, I ain't gonna be adding much more, maybe some beige-ish colors, like desert just along the bottom of it because that's what I like to do I have bronzed flesh which in my opinion works well for this as well just you know just to dirty it up but you can add pigments which gonna help you with this process and definitely dry pigments are very good way to go but right now I don't want to bother with using the, uh, the pigment if you cannot get pigments around your place just get the chalk pastels grind them down and you have extremely cheap pigments I will just throw it on the spin table and uh, make a couple of photos of it and finish the video but for now thank you very much for watching and please rate comment and subscribe and have a lovely day